is my Lego fish pond. <laughs> Whoa, look at that, guys. This is our very own Lego fishing rod. Look, there's a big fish right there. Did he see it? Oh, he's on. Oh my God, look at the koi. It looks like there's a baby Paku right there. He's on, I got him, he's right there. And this is my very own Lego fish trap. Oh my gosh, guys, look at all the little fish. All right, let's see. Oh, there's definitely a big fish in here. Oh my God, oh. All right, chill out, Jaws, chill out. Oh, oh my gosh. Look, 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 he's going in, he's going in. This is my Lego fish pond. But because it's a Lego pond, we're gonna have to use real life Legos to catch whatever fish are gonna go inside of the Lego pond. Kind of like this one, our yellow Lego. If we turned this yellow Lego upside down, now it's actually the world's smallest fish trap. And we have a little pellet. We're gonna put our fish food right inside of our fish trap. And now all we have to do is set it in the water. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. And all throughout this grass right here, there's actually a bunch of little fish. Let me see, do we have any thing inside of our Lego. Oh, there is one! It's right there, look at it! It's right there! So I think we have the new world record for the smallest fish trap in the entire world. Look at that. That right there is our baby minnow. Hi, buddy! And this is actually a certified Lego fish. He's going inside of his new fish tank. I'm gonna name him Lego, because we caught him in a yellow Lego. And now it's time to catch a giant fish for our Lego pond. But not on this rod, because it's not Lego. Here we go! And it's finally time to build our Lego fishing rod. So it's kind of like a normal fishing rod, but instead it's just Lego. <laughs> Whoa, look at that guys. This is our very own Lego fishing rod. We took a bunch of Legos and then even put a reel on this thing. But the question is, does the Lego fishing rod cast? Oh yeah. This rod is ready to catch an epic Lego fish. And now it's time to use our Lego fishing rod to catch some food, but we have an issue. We're gonna be using a bear hook. And honestly, fish are really smart, so we should probably catch some bait to put on the hook. If whatever we catch on the Lego rod is gonna go inside the Lego pond, whatever bait we use has to be caught in a Lego net. And trust me, all of the fish are down there, so huh! Whoa! All of this grass right here holds a million baby little fish. I think this one right here, oh wait, there's some fish right there. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about, bro. We got a bunch of little babies. These baby cichlids? Bro, let's go. Everything in South Florida loves eating these little invasive fish, so let's throw them inside of the Lego pond. Go, B! And because we caught those fish in the Lego net like that, we're able to use those to catch a bigger fish to go inside the Lego tank. So, come on, here we go. Oh! oh. oh. All right, and this is what I'm saying. I already see some baby fish. So you cast in the grass and you sh Oh, let's go! Let's go, look at this. An even bigger one, Raw fam. Bro, that's gonna catch a pond monster. This right here is the perfect size little bait fish. I don't even know what this is. It looks like a cichlid. Guys, comment down below what type of bait fish this thing is. Some weird type of hybrid, but all I know is we caught it on the Lego net. So it go in the Lego pond. Come on. All right, Julian, this pond is filled with fish, right? Yep. It is? No. Guys, it looks like. Ah! What the? Oh my god, he almost ran me over. Guys, we gotta catch a lot more fish. Oh my gosh! There's a bunch of fish in this creek. Let's go! Let's go! Guys, there was a bunch of fish just sitting right here in this little creek. I don't even know what I got. Oh, a molly! A big colorful fish. Wait, watch out. Help me up, help me up. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Look at this. This right here is a molly. That's an aquarium fish, bro. Look at that. This right here is an aquarium fish. All right, this is definitely what we need. For Lego! Three kill right there. One, two, three. Woo! And that is all of the Lego bait that we're gonna need to use in the Lego fishing rod. So there's no need for this. Whoa. Woo! Dang, that arrow's good. And now that we have the bait, we're gonna put it on the Lego rod and catch a fish. Come on. And this is actually our little buddy right here. Cut up a little piece of apple for him. Hello. Relax. Ow! Don't let the iguanas bite you. That's what we learned today. 
Who's a good lizard? So that was feeding Draco our pet iguana. And we're actually over here on the side of the pond. Our little buddy over there is having a good time, but he's not as excited as I am. This right here is our Lego rod. And we have our little hook, but we need to put the bait on the hook. This right here is all of the bait that we're gonna need. And apparently all of the big fish are this way. Look, there's a big fish right there. Big one right there, big ones. Instant, instant eat, come on buddy. Did he see it? Did he see it? Oh, he's on, he's on, on the Lego rod, on the Lego rod. Oh, he broke the rod, he broke the rod. Oh my goodness, oh crap. Okay, okay, we're on, we're on. Okay, yeah, this Lego rod did catch the Lego fish, but Guys, honestly, our, uh, our our rod is, is a little messed up. Austin, show him the rod. We, we messed it up a Look little bit, that. right? So is this the fish that we're actually gonna bring back to the Raw Fam to go in the Lego pond? Nah, it's not big enough. Dang it, Raw Fam. So it's either we want a really, really big peacock to put in the monster pond, or we want a baby peacock to put in our Lego pond. So let's release this guy. All right, bye little buddy. Have an awesome day. So our Lego fishing rod kind of just broke. And guys, this little rod right here is probably way too small for any fish inside of this pond. Guys, that little peacock we just caught was very small and it did that to the pond. Imagine if we hooked the pond monster. Guys, it would not go good. This pond seems much better for this little Lego rod. So we have our little bait. We're gonna cast it out. And I wonder what we're gonna catch. Austin, start chumming the water, buddy. See what we got. Oh my God, look at all the colorful fish coming up. Oh my God, look at the koi. <laughs> Guys, look at all the koi. All right, we're gonna throw it over there. Here we go. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Oh no, he spit it. So whatever bit broke the line, but as we're looking, come right here. Zoom in on it, zoom in on right, right there. It looks like there's a baby Paku right there. Guys, apparently there was like big mama Paku living to one of the ponds that connect to here, and now there's baby Paku in here. Guys, if we catch a baby Paku, that would go perfect inside of our Lego fish tank. So to target the baby Paku, we're gonna put on a little piece of bread. Ready? Here we go. Here we go, he's on. He's on, I got him, he's right there. I got him, he's on him. Come on, come on, come on, let's go. Let's go, oh my god! That's the smallest Paku I've ever caught! This right here is our brand new pet baby Paku. And just like the last fish, he is not bigger than the fishing rod. But this guy is perfect size to go inside of our Lego fish tank. Look at those teeth, look at those teeth. Oh my god, what a micro fish, that is so cool. We're gonna have to put this guy in the bucket for only a couple seconds, because we got a far run to get back to the Lego pond. Come on. Oh, <laughs> let's go. Guys, we just caught a baby Paku. So we just got over to the Lego tank, come here. Let me show you guys my new little baby fish. Come on, buddy. Oh my god, he's so cute. Let's go. And this right here is our first certified pond monster right there that is gonna be going inside of the Lego tank. This guy is beautiful and he's gonna look really good Woo! back at the Raw Fam. So that right there is the first epic fish that we caught, you know, for our Lego fish tank. But guys, you guys know the Raw Fam and we always outdo ourselves. So I think it's about time to, uh, I don't know, make a Lego fish trap and it's gonna happen right now. So we actually started building a Lego fish trap. I actually already taped a couple of the sides, but I wanted to just film a little bit to show you guys the finished results. Yeah, this should probably be the face here. But before we finish building the Lego trap, this video is sponsored by Arup. Arup is the world's first hydration system that flavors plain water through scent. Keep me 110% healthy throughout my day. Every single day we're catching exotic fish, we're even building ponds, and water just like Arup really helps us stay hydrated throughout our day. I find plain water to be very boring. Arup actually brings a new fun, awesome meaning to staying hydrated. Let me show you how Arup works. You're gonna grab your Arup hydration bottle. Then choose your flavor pod that you actually wanna drink. This is my personal favorite. You put the pod into the chamber and pull up to activate the flavor in the water. And remember, the pod does not go inside of the water and dissolve and get nasty. It stays on top of the bottle, so when you drink, it's a new refreshing flavor every time. Arup is so beneficial to me and my team, and we're gonna be using Arup from here on out. 
<laughs> oh my god. It's pretty good. If you guys want to stay hydrated like me in a healthy way, then click the link in my description and visit airup.com today. Add the starter kit and the Fave 5 flavor pack to your cart and get five pods for free using my promo code Fave 5. If you need some inspiration, my favorite flavors are cherry, apple, raspberry lemon, iced tea peach, and watermelon. Now let's get back to building the Lego fish trap and thank you Arab for sponsoring today's video. Oh yeah, that probably goes right there. That'll be perfect. Wow, look at that Rolfam. That's actually a face right there and we have a little opening right there. So sometimes I like to build the Lego fish trap inside out and then take the top and just fit everything together. And this is my very own Lego fish trap. This fish trap actually comes equipped with a little door right there, just so that we can open and close the trap whenever we catch the fish. And we actually have a bunch of little pellets right here. Here we go. Oh, perfect. And now it's crucial to fishing that you take a bunch of pellets and pour them everywhere around your trap. All right, here we go. Perfect, and then throw some farther out. Perfect. And now all we're gonna do is just put the fish trap in the water and pretty much wait. All right, I'm going right in here. All right, you ready? And we gotta weigh it down. Perfect, just like that. Our Lego fish trap is all ready to go, so now all we have to do is wait and just give it a couple minutes. But while we wait, I have something insane to show you guys. Guys, look who's waiting for us. Hi, Cookie. Hi, goats. What's up, everybody? Give me some sugar. Hi, baby. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hi. These right here are actually my miniature goats. And the cool part about these guys is they have something to tell you. Hey, Cookie, Oreo, what's up, buddy? Hey, Oreo, get off the camera, guy. Hey, what are you doing? This right here is Cookie. Hey, Oreo, what's up? And she actually is pregnant, Rolf fam. If you guys see her big belly right there, we're expecting a bunch of beautiful baby little goats very soon. And this right here is the father. His name's Oreo. <laughs> and all of the goats are named after my favorite sweets. This girl's a cookie. This right here is a Snickers. This is an Oreo. This is vanilla. And that right there. Hi, Thin Mint. What's up, baby? <laughs> and this right here is the little goat squad. So soon, in the next couple of months, we're actually going to be building my dream home, aka my casa, my house, and a bunch of ponds out here. So, of course, enough on that. I think it's about time to head over to my backyard and check the Lego fish trap. So, I'll see you there. Oh my gosh, guys, look at all the little fish that are already on top of our trap. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Bro. As I went over to the trap, there was something that was like kind of like half in, half out. I don't know. We'll see. Yo, yo, come here. Come here, guys. Ugh. All right, got rid of that. So, guys, what is inside of our little Lego trap? All right, let's see. Ugh. Oh! Oh, look at that. Let's go. That's an African cichlid, it, right? It's an African cichlid. It's yeah. some weird cichlid. Oh, my gosh. So this right here is just an escaped aquarium fish. Believe it or not, the aquarium trade is kind of fun and kind of bad because a lot of people own fish, but sometimes they release them. And this little booger, along with all of those right there, look at them, there's a bunch right there. Oh my gosh, so this is just one of a million, but this is definitely going inside of our Lego pond. All right. Let's do it. I mean, bro, I'm down. Guys, this is actually the first colorful fish that I've actually caught in my own backyard. And normally they're actually a lot bigger. This is actually a really small one. Before we've caught massive koi, paku, weird fish, but yeah, he's a normal fish. He's literally, look, here he goes. Hi, buddy. What's up? Welcome to the pond. I almost forgot, look, forgot we had the paku in here too. Bro, let's go! This Lego pond is not normal. We caught a Paku that you saw eat on video. It was crazy. And then we just did a Lego fish trap in my backyard. We're two for two on colorful fish. Bro, what else could we catch? I mean, what's the craziest way we can catch a fish, Julian? Right now, you tell me and I'll do it. Backflip into the pond. Backflipping, I don't know how to do a backflip, so I can't do that. Um, maybe, bro, why don't we just make a bigger Lego trap? Maybe okay. like a big one. You Let's down? Do yeah. All right. I also forgot that there is also something that we caught with our Lego net that is gonna be one of our new pets. Come here, oh, look at him. Hi, buddy. What's up, welcome. That right there is also a giant molly. That is also gonna be one of our pets, so. 
Welcome, buddy. Welcome. And honestly, guys, I think I have a good idea of our next fish trap that we're going to do. So let's flash over to that, and I'll see you there. And I guess this is what I came up with. This is actually the container that the Legos came in. But if you guys look real close, doesn't it kind of look like a ginormous Lego? So I got to thinking and then I cut a giant hole in the side of this and I said, yo, what's the craziest fish I could catch? And I decided it would be a mini pond monster and there was only one person to call. Hey Austin, do you have any mini pond monsters? I have a couple, but I don't think they'll fit in that thing. Hmm. All right, challenge accepted. All right, pour it in. Ooh, perfect. And whatever I catch out of Austin's pawn, I'm gonna be bringing back to my pawn. And then just set the Lego pawn right there, and the fish are just gonna think it's a fish cave, and they should swim on in. Watch this. Cheat coats, all the red tails like to sit right there. This should be a no-brainer. Yo, Franklin, what are you thinking? I mean, the water's pretty murky. Oh my gosh, what? Dude. One, I think one just went in. I have no idea. I, I've been just sitting here. I didn't see one go in. Should I try it? Yeah, dude, I just saw one. Or his tail or something. So there's a bunch of fish right here. We've given it like 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, wait, right there. Do you see that? Did you see that? I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. I just knocked one back into the pond. Look at that. One Look at there. that. There's one in there. I thought it was a fish cave. What is it? It's a red tail for sure. Is it's it? definitely a red tail. Oh, hi, buddy. Hello, welcome. Let's go. Okay. All right, open it up, open it up. Okay, okay, perfect. And yeah, let's go, oh, it's a red God, tail. It wait, what the heck? Wait, come here, hold on. Wait, wait up. Look right here. No, uh, this has to be the one you were talking about, buddy. So Austin's been telling me that there's actually a red tail in here that actually is off limits. And if you look right there, his head is just so perfect. It's a perfect fish. I mean, I would love to have this one, but bro, what are we gonna do? Cause this is this is your favorite one, right? Yeah, don't worry, it's okay. I have a bigger one here. It probably fits better with your pawn. Is it that one? Yeah, that one right there. Oh, let's go. Perfect. That one's perfect. perfect. Hold on. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna release this guy. This is Austin's favorite pet yeah, red tail. It's actually one of the best ones. Yeah, ever probably because it's big old whiskers right there. Yo, could somebody get me like a net or something from the truck? Or all right, one second. The net. Perfect. Here we go. I'm looking at him, but this guy's gonna be quick. Come on, buddy. Oh, crap. Oh my god. Fish trap, fish trap, go, go, please. In the fish trap, in the fish trap. Oh my gosh, close it, close it, close it. Bro, let's go. There's definitely a big fish in here. Oh my god, oh. Oh my goodness, go back in the trap. Okay, take it to the Lego box. Oh my goodness, Austin, there you go, brother. Oh my, oh my god, this one's prettier than the other one. What are you talking about? All right, guys, so this right here is our brand new pet baby red tail. Bro, let's go! Austin, I don't know about you, brother, but I think this video is going pretty dang good so far. So, Raw fam, I think it's about time we do something that I've been keeping a secret for a very long time. And we just got back to the Royal Fam, and guys, you guys ready? Gotta be heavy. Oh my gosh. Be careful, slow down, be careful, you're gonna throw me over. Oh my God, okay. Right there in that spot. Oh, oh. Ah, that thing is freaking heavy. Nope. But we're over here, we have this massive Lego pond with a bunch of epic little fish. And one of my personal favorites is actually that red tail catfish right there. Let me actually show you guys this. Come on, buddy. Come on, boy. Oh, we got a Paku too. As you guys can see, this right here is our brand new red-tailed catfish. He is totally freaking epic. And we're actually gonna be putting him in his brand new home. What's going on here, Tyler? You feeding all the tortoises? Yeah, giving them food for the day. There we go. Bye, turtle. So this right here is actually our brand new pond. We set up a brand new one because this one was getting disgusting. And we actually want to grow out all of these little monsters to be as friendly as possible. I want these things eating out of my hand just like my original fish from back in the day. Where's the Paku at? Come on, buddy. It's finally your time to shine. There he is. Come on, booger. <laughs> All right, guys, so this right here is a red belly Paku we actually caught on our Lego fishing rod. We could actually go back and catch a couple more Paku out of that pond, but this guy right here is actually our brand new pet aquarium fish. Guys, comment down below what we should name this guy because we need to name every fish that's going in this blue pond. Here we go, guys. Come on. Oh, yeah, and I guess the, the little Molly was actually in there, so... We're gonna see how long the little Molly lives for, but that right there is our brand new pet red belly Paku. Oh crap, look at this. Hey, 
This little guy was just sitting in the net. I must have scooped him out whenever I caught the Paku. So this right here is also one of our new little aquarium fish. But this guy, I think might get eaten by the red tails. But I am certain if I make this guy a bunch of fish caves and a bunch of cool little things, now that guy could probably live and maybe even breed inside of this pond. But honestly guys, I feel like this pond is missing something. Raw fam, I think it's gonna rain right now. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna do another fish trap over here inside of this pond right here. So we're actually gonna end up doing this fish trap one more time. But guys, if we're gonna do a really good fish trap, we need the best food to bait the trap with. And it's right over here. Guys, look right here. All of the massive peacock bass that we got are ready to eat. These right here are the best koi pellets in the entire world. Come on guys, come on. Oh, that was a largey, hi buddy. Oh my goodness, they love it. Come on guys, oh wow. Look how cool that is. That is so freaking cool. So we're actually gonna take our massive Lego trap and we're gonna grab just a little bit of these koi pellets, okay? Now whenever we take these koi pellets and we put it inside of the trap, pretty much it's like nine out of 10 times the fish usually go in. So all we're gonna do is fill up the trap with a little bit of water. Perfect, and we're gonna put the fish trap all the way down here and just set a rock on top. Wow, that is epic. I can almost guarantee that within a couple of minutes the fish are gonna be trying to go inside. Look, look right there. Look, he's, there's a fish that's already attracted to the pellets right there. It's a big orange one. Look, 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 he's going in. He's going in. Back up. That fish wants to go inside of the trap. All right, it's only gonna be a couple minutes and those fish should go inside the trap. While we wait for the Lego fish trap, I wanna show you guys all of my Japanese koi fish. Hi guys, how are you? Look, oh, it's Goldie. Look right there, hi. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that one. Oh my God, that one looks so expensive. Hi baby. Oh, this right here is my Japanese koi fish, Honey. And this right here is Goldie. Hi, Goldie. You're getting so big, girl. Yo, look at Honey. Hi, Honey. Oh my God, it's Tigger. Hi, Tigger. And that was all of my Japanese koi fish. And now I think it's time to go over here and check the fish trap. All right, here we go. Oh, I just felt something. I just felt one. Oh, I definitely see one in there. I definitely see one in there. Come here, come here. See if you could zoom in right here, ready? Do you see any fish in there? See them? What do they look like? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you ready? What did we catch? Oh, look at that! A catfish! A catfish and two bluegills! Let's go! So this is definitely what we needed to make the pawn really, really, really freaking awesome. Oh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> so these oh, were already some of our fish. This is an epic little bluegill. Release that little guy, he's gonna swim. We're gonna release that little guy, he's perfect. But look at this, this right here is a TSN. This right here is a tiger shovel nose roll fam. One of the most epic fish in my entire collection. Yum. <laughs> Rolf fam, this freaking epic pawn is honestly worth it. Wait, Rolf fam, we're actually gonna be doing something today that uh, yeah, Raw fam, my bad. I thought we were gonna be able to keep those bluegills as pets, but I may be a little wrong. All right, that's one of the bluegills right there. Oh, here we go. And here's the other. So these right here are probably gonna be the two epic treats that I actually give to Jaws before we have to remake his little aquarium. Oh, Jaws. So we're actually gonna be certifying Jaws as a Lego fish today. Oh, <laughs> I always get so nervous right before I feed Jaws. Ooh. All right, that's better. Let's do this. And recently, I've been sticking my hand in and it's kind of just like, oh my God! Yeah, I have no idea when Jaws is gonna attack me and it's just like, spur of the moment, I'm gonna lose a finger. But Jaws is crazy, so we're gonna feed her before we put her inside of the Lego pond. Come on, come on, oh my God! Jaws, chill! Okay, Jaws, can you please eat it this time instead of just splashing us? Come on, Jaws, where are you? Right here. Oh my God! Okay, Jaws has destroyed the camera, but it's finally time to take Jaws and put her inside of the Lego pond. Woo, that's cold. Everyone knows every fish that goes inside of the Lego pond turns into a Lego fish. So let's turn Jaws into a Lego fish. Here we go. Oh, whoa, whoa. Chill out, chill out. So this is clearly Prime the Bass. So let me see. Oh yeah, that right there is Prime the Bass. Woo so everybody's been asking me, how big is Jaws and Prime? Well, today you're gonna find out. Here we go Prime. 
<laughs> so we're gonna make a measurement on Prime. Prime is 20 and a half inches. Can you see that right there where no her nose is? Yep. So this right here is a certified pond monster for sure. And now it's officially time to move Prime to the Lego pond. Here we go. Oh, holy crap, Prime is heavy. Oh, here we go guys. Everybody say welcome. Because Prime is officially a Lego fish. Welcome to your new home. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Oh, Brian actually does look like she's doing really well. So I think it's officially time to add Jaws to the mix and turn Jaws into a Lego fish. Jaws is going to be much happier because if you guys look all around this aquarium, this pond is getting so nasty. Thank God that we had the Lego pond sitting there so we can easily transport Jaws over to the pond while we clean her new aquarium. All right, Jaws, where are you, baby? Oh, she's right there. All right, chill out, Jaws, chill out. No more jumping, please. Oh! Oh my gosh! No! Dang it. We just completely took all that slime off of Jaws. I didn't even put the net next to her like, yeah, see, look, she just lost a bunch of scales. Come on, Jaws, chill out, please. Okay, I gotta pin her up on the side. I got her, don't worry. Jaws is really gonna mess herself up, but we have to do this. Chill out, Jaws. All right guys, so this is Jaws the bass. This right here is where Jaws just hit herself on the side of the blue container. Look, this is still more of her slide right there. That is all of her slime. But how big is Jaws the bass? Everybody's been asking me. Chill out, Jaws. The official measurement is Jaws is 23 inches, guys. This right here, oh my gosh, is Jaws the bass. You know, right in there. Three, two, one, oh! Oh yeah, she's heavy, I'm telling you guys. All right, here we go. Woo! All right, she's in there. Just empty her out. Welcome to the Lego pond, Jules. So they are only in here temporarily while we clean their home. Jules should be happier. I mean, hopefully she doesn't jump out of this pond, but it's time to make Jules' home clean again. All right. Let's go to the pond. And it's officially time to start cleaning Jaws' home. All this nasty sludge right here used to get eaten by all of these little snails right here, but for whatever reason, they stopped working. I can't rely on the snails anymore to clean Jaws' home, so we're gonna have to take things into our own hands. So now that the pond is completely drained of water, Tyler, are you ready? I'm ready to go! Spray that pond! Oh, come here, come here! This is exactly what the pond is supposed to look like. So we're about to turn this Jaws pond exactly back to how we bought it. Go for it, Tyler, you got it. And the Jaws pond is finally finished. But it's obviously finally time to fill the Jaws pond back up. Here we go. There we go, yeah. We're gonna be filling this pond up, so it's probably gonna take 24 hours, so I'll see you guys when the Jaws Pond is ready. Perfect. Wow, look at that, Raw fam. The Jaws Pond is finally filled back up. So you guys know what that means. It's finally time to go check on our Lego fish. Come on. Oh, Jaws! How are you, buddy? <laughs> oh, there we go. So Jaws has the mark on her head. Hi, girl. And then that is Prime the Bass right there. Honestly, I didn't know if they were gonna have enough room inside of the Lego Pond, but honestly, it worked amazing. So now let's go harvest all of our Lego fish from the Lego Pond and put Jaws in his brain brand new home. Oh, so we got a big old net. Come on, Prime, let's go, buddy. Come on, Prime. Uh-oh, chill out. All right, so this right here is our super healthy bass, and his name is Prime. Woo! In the bag you go, buddy. Ah! Oh, so, we got Prime the bass inside of this little baggie. It's time to put him back in his forever home. All right, welcome to your pond, buddy. Oh, Prime and Jaws forever gonna live inside of their happy little home. Relax, Prime. Whoa, whoa, not the camera. Relax. All right, Prime, welcome back to your home, buddy. <laughs> He's like, dang, I know this pond. This is my home. So Prime is officially back where she came from. It's time to go get Jaws. Put her back inside of the massive Jaws Aquarium. Guys, this pond right here has some of the biggest fish in South Florida living and thriving in it. And now it's finally time to get Jaws. Come on, buddy. Let's go. This right here is our famous bass. The most famous fish on the internet. Jaws, you ready to go back to your home, baby? It's time to go home, buddy. 
Time to go home. Whoop. Perfect. Oh. So if you guys have been watching the YouTube channel for a really long time, you guys would know that Jaws here is the most savage fish on the internet. All right, here we go. Oh yeah. And trust me guys, there's a reason why it's called the Jaws Pond and not the Prime Pond, because Jaws is a savage. All right, come on girl. Where are you? All right, here she is. All right, we hope her little wound there heals up nice and quick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Chill out there, Jaws. So Jaws and Prime are back inside of their forever home. This pond looks freaking amazing. I know that Jaws knows that she's back home. So honestly, I would not be surprised if I could put a bait in here right now and they'll come up and eat it. But if you want to see that, you're going to have to wait for the next video, Raw Fam. I love you guys. And honestly, I think it's about time to wrap this video up. If you guys enjoyed the Lego adventure, make sure you guys subscribe and like today's video. I love you all fam, and I'll see you later. Peace!